Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Enigma and you're watching Enigma Inc. So I'm going to do Pisces from 23 to 31 of May. Let's see what are the messages for you. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is a general reading. So take whatever resonates and leave what does not resonate. For more personals, you can always reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram or email. Details are given below. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on your sign Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and also you can follow me on my instagram for all the updates and feedbacks related to personal readings or uh, crystals and um, white prayer based spells for your highest good and i also do daily dose of free horoscopes on my instagram so you can reach out to me on instagram and stay connected for the same by following me there let us see more messages. Oops. Okay. I wanted to come out so desperately. All right. So what am I seeing is that two of swords. Then I have the death card and I have ace of pentacles. I feel like there has been a major transformation happening in your life. Like there is a, someone that was giving you, you know, like confusion over confusion. This person was pretty confused themselves. And they were keeping you confused in love as well. Scorpio energy. Uh, possible. But I feel like now things are transforming. Okay. Maybe this is gone and someone new coming in. Or this person is coming with a uh, with a clear decision towards you. Okay. I feel like there's a new beginning of stability, long term and commitment. Now let us see what else is there. You're basically transforming. So there's someone new that is coming in, guys. I feel like uh, Pisces, you were in two minds about this person earlier. And you put a full stop on this. And I feel like that person was confused and this this confused you a lot. And they gave you mixed signals and you were, you were fed up and you ended the situation. You moved towards new beginnings and positive transformations. And now I'm seeing that you definitely are dealing with someone new or it is coming this week, okay? This is someone that is wanting to dive in deep in love without any expectations, okay? This is someone that you can trust in a lot in terms of loyalty and they're someone that wants to give into this connection mutually and I feel like they also see you as you're a possible soulmate for them, Gemini. This is like a starting phase of a relationship, okay, or a connection. So I feel like they started to feel emotionally into this. Like they want to connect with you on an emotional level. This could be Pisces, another Pisces. Okay, the moon. And then we have the devil. Ooh, someone is thinking a lot about you guys. And I feel like they're still stuck on you. I'm feeling like the past is not done, guys. So what I'm seeing Pisces over here that you may be dealing with two people because two of swords is also here. And you may be getting the energy of someone from the past because they are obsessing over you. Like addict, you're a drug to this person, right? So what I'm seeing over here is that there's someone that is feeling like they're addicted to you and just cannot get over. And they're wanting to come towards you with a new beginning and a possible new beginning with you where they can find that solid ground where you guys can commit with each other and see a long-term future however pisces you have trust issues with them because they are always keeping you confused okay this is not done they're coming back so i feel like they want to come towards you and want to show you love and want to show you respect but it is something that you cannot trust in on this person with a long-term thing so maybe they're going to switch so this person is, has a switch button they switch on their own so they have a mood swings uh have an issue of mood swing and i feel like they keep on switching but the only thing that is re that remains in their feelings towards you is that they're addicted to your codependencies they want something but they're not able to invest into this like that okay they want love they want commitment they want future they want long term but the behavior that they are conducting is not taking it anywhere it is rather going towards toxic side because they're showing uh clinginess they're showing addiction they're showing controlling behavior they're showing ego clashes 
and they're also giving you um, the vibe that they cannot be trusted all right so i feel like yes there are new options coming in pisces but you're very careful of who you put your time and energy on to because right now you may not be getting any good options that you can trust okay maybe this person blocked you or you blocked this person and they're obsessing over you still there is a lot of ego game going on you guys are playing ego ego okay so here if this is happening you guys one person has to you know let down their guard and i feel like once it's done you'll get a clear um you know answer you'll get a clear uh, understanding of what this person wants from you they're going to be open more open once the ego thing is down at least from one end what i feel like this person deep inside feels a com competition with you because they feel like you're on the same page as them and they always need to have an upper hand in this connection and for that they're trying hard to you know control the situation and that is why it's going towards conflict so you guys are having some conflicts between you guys you guys are not understanding each other's problem like not ready to step on each other's shoes and understand the situation from the the other person's perspective and this is creating all the problem why do i get this justice card why am i getting this justice card why am i getting this all right so as i told you they have mood swings okay so what i'm sensing that this person wants to reach out to you but they don't know how you would react and i feel like sometimes they're like hating you sometimes they're loving you because they have ego problem i'm sensing also see that this person has a tendency to hide their feelings they're not fully expressive they have expression issues because they have inner child issues that they still need to heal i feel like you're dealing with someone who is taking this towards toxic side not worth investing for now at least i feel like they they want to make a move towards you but they're like okay you do it first or they're also confused whether you want to take it forward or you're just not interested so they're slowing themselves down i feel like they're trying to keep themselves on the same page and as you are if you're not showing interest they will not if you're not making efforts they will not so they want to mirror you i know why i'm sensing this could be a possible no i'm not sure to inflame no maybe but mirroring is there you guys are giving each other a good lesson in life oof this is heavy so there could be another pisces gemini libra capricorn scorpio pisces is strong they keeping into them so i feel like this person has sleep problems or not sleeping at night because they want to connect with you but they're resisting themselves because you are not connecting with them you know they want to keep it equal because of their ego they have a lot of ego they have big ego but they want you all right here of fun this could be someone who's at your workplace okay or someone that you guys have met this person at a sacred place or in, in, they could be in your family you know this person through family people why do i have this herophan okay this could be a taurus as well or does this herophan me clarify this please clarify herophan Knight of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Hmm. They want you to take action. They want you to show them that you want commitment. You want long term. You want marriage. You want this. You want that. They want some sort of a spoon feeding. I feel like you're dealing with someone who's younger than you or who's acting kiddish right now. okay they're a younger soul than you are i feel like they want you to be the first one to make a move towards them and show them uh 
consistency and that intensity with which you want this person they want that from your end okay until and unless you don't do that they will not come okay they will not come towards you they keep it to themselves they have a good you know they they're great in hiding feelings okay they're, they're absolutely great in hiding feelings what else do we have here yeah six of swords they miss you yeah this person misses you i feel like they're not done yet if you were asking me whether this person has moved on i'm sensing that they're trying hard but they just cannot remove you out of their thought you're so dear to this person even if they are keeping that cold shoulder face superficially deep inside they're full of love towards you and they miss that kindness that you gave them or you showed them this person misses that kindness that you once showed them they just cannot forget that okay they're addicted you're their drug right now they want to chase you so desperately but they're holding themselves back they don't want to look stupid they have ego issues big ego so i'm sensing that this person's a lot in their mind about you and how you looked to uh, their eyes initially they they keep on memorizing those days when you guys looked at each other's eyes or the the kind of a smile that you gave this person on the kind kindness that touched them that is not coming out like that is not leaving their mind at all like they're still missing that they're still missing that yeah six of cups they desperately want this reconciliation okay recent past or far past but i'm feeling like this person still wants this reconciliation to happen so bad they're miss missing you guys i'm strongly sensing they're reminiscing old memories the memories are still so fresh in their mind so fresh i can't tell you i feel like this is making it difficult for them to neither leave their ego and not leave you at the same time so if you are interested you should reach out this could be a scorpio pisces cancer extremely sensitive soul very very sensitive and i feel like right now they are sensitive and feeling emotional maybe crying for your presence in their life so they're crying badly and i'm feeling like they're also feeling that sexual tension towards you they're secretly watching you i'm sensing that okay they're secretly watching you from here and there any glimpse that they can get about you on social media that is what they are waiting for so your pentacles they may be talking about you to their people at work okay to their colleagues or you guys have mutual friends that's how they're connecting and their friends know that they love you okay you may not know this but i feel like you may get to hear it from their friend or someone mutual that this person misses you and still wants you and may or uh, needs a change three of cups and then we have king of pentacles wheel of fortune three of cups uh, cups and king of pentacles and three of <sighs> pentacles shows that there's someone else also in your life guys pisces if if you haven't met someone new then it's coming for you and i feel like you're the one that's going to fall in love with this new person but it hasn't happened now but it will happen soon your life is going to change with this new person okay i feel like you'll be you'll be you'll be stuck between two options you'll be like which way should i go because you know both of them are holding your hand tight you don't know which way to go because you'll be loved by both of them and i feel like ultimately you'll be like i need space i um, you will guard yourself because you don't want to drain your energy because of this person you're scared that you, your energy may get drained and you won't be able to focus on your work okay 
I'm also sensing one more thing that if you want this person, do reach out to them because there's someone new also coming in, in their life. If it's not you, then they are going to fall in love with someone and let go of this connection completely. Very soon, this is happening. Things may change and you won't be able to change things. So if this is you wanting to go back or reach out to this person, go for it. What is your energy towards this person, Pisces? Okay, you want to reach out. Yes, you, you miss this person. You are excited to know that this person is still obsessed with you. And you don't want to let this person go uh, to someone else without revealing the truth. You have passion. You want to reach out literally very fast. I feel like you may reach out to them. You may con communicate with them. But I feel like you're trying to send them messages energetically, telepathically. And they're getting it. That is why they're missing you like crazy. I feel like there will be an interference of a third party, either from your side or from their side, very soon. If you guys do not fix this thing, the entry of third party will be anytime coming in soon. So I see you feel immense passion towards them and you may also be checking out on their social media. So what is the possible outcome if you guys do reach out? Like what do you see if there is any potential here? What is the possible outcome this week? I feel also that this week you guys are going to miss each other from distance but not take anything, any action. The outcome is... They demand too much from you or you demand too much from this person and things do not go anywhere. You guys are complete opposites. No soulmate. You guys are complete opposites. But I feel like there's still a deep connection between you guys. This can work out but you guys, both of you have to make efforts into this connection because I feel like this person is not sleeping well. Okay, because... They're missing you, thinking about you, and they're also intimidated with your aura, with your personality, how you would treat them in return. They're also scared of that. Very soon, things are going to be crystal clear in front of you, okay? You will know exactly what decision to take because I sense that you're, you're making a decision, but you're, you're thinking about it right now. You know this person is instant, uh, you, you know, consistently thinking about you, not sleeping at night, lights are on. You know this person is watching you. You exactly know this. You know it, who it is I'm talking about. They are on your mind. So I feel like you guys both are going to resist this connection. Most probably in this week, you guys are going to resist this connection. That is why the angels are telling you to give it a chance. At least you guys should have a proper discussion so that you can come out of this energy that is still lingering in your bodies for each other. This person is super codependent on you guys. They are not able to function without you. They need you in their life like a drug, like a coffee or a tea or a alcohol. So the angels are trying to say that you should give them a chance because I feel like you're going to f uh, focus on your ego. You're not going to let down your ego and they are also not. But I feel like the one that is in trouble, physical trouble, is them, not you. Message. So I'm sensing that a message is coming from them randomly. And I feel like... Okay, this could be someone who's born on 24, they're 24 at age or have birthday on 7 or this is you who has birthday on 7 or 6. What I'm seeing over here is that this person will like send you a message and run away and then they'll be like, oh my gosh, and then they'll be like, okay, uh, hold your breath and they'll be like, okay, uh, I think I sent you by mistake and that's it. That's stupid. I feel like that's how scared this person is because you're always on their mind and now they're scared. 
I'm also sensing this person is a hard worker, study or works a lot, whatever their work is, maybe into creative line, maybe something with business of clothing and all. This could be 34 as well. You could be 24 or 34. I see an age difference is also possible. Seven years, maybe, or 10 years, possible. I'm also seeing the female is older than the male as well for some cases. I feel like you may be the one that may disappear after sending the message. So I feel like there is a problem of ghosting. Someone has a problem of ghosting. Maybe this person or you. It is not because they are playing with you. I feel like it is because they are intimidated by your personality, by your growth, by your aura, by your presence. It could be you as well doing this to them. Who knows? But I feel like it's them. Okay. So I'm sensing a message coming in, a call coming in and then disappearing. Okay. So the major problem that comes between you and your relationship or the situationship is society. How will society judge you guys? How will they see you? That is the major problem, major issues that, that's coming between you guys. A message for you guys is that give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So do what your heart wants. Don't bother about the outcome. Just do what it wants because you should first of all be selfish for your own needs rather than the other person. How the other person will think this, that has nothing to do with you in the long run. I'm sensing maybe this is a taboo. This connection is not allowed. Uh, there's a difference of community and upbringing in caste or religion. That is also the acting like a barrier between you guys. And honestly, I don't believe in religion thing. You can get the best person in the world coming from a different upbringing or a religion or a culture. You never know. You can miss out on that. So I don't really like that. You know, same, same religion, same, same culture, getting married. It could be anyone. A human came in without religion on this planet. Why to put all the you know manly things on them on this uh spiritual uh thing like love within the next few weeks i see this person sending you a message okay they'll send you a message and i feel like you are the one that needs to make an effort to ask them what is happening okay then only they'll open up to you I'm feeling like this person is too scared the end of a tough cycle. So I feel like the, that game of um, runner and chaser is ended. Okay. The Tom and Jerry game has ended. Now you guys are going to confront each other and come face to face and clear out your misunderstandings. And then you can decide whether you want to be together or leave. Okay. And I feel like this is going to calm both the sides down. Make it easier for you to get over. So for the other person at least. So I feel like there's no more situationship like confusions happening to you anymore capricorn this could be a capricorn i'm seeing it after like 20th of may 20th may 23 may i'm sensing things are becoming more easier for you to handle in love especially what else for my pisces okay chop wood I feel like you're being sitting at home too much or doing the same old thing like something that that is not suiting your career choice so here it's asking you to come out of your comfort zone and do something else you're done you're bored okay so that is also what I'm seeing what do the animal spirit guides for the messages think? Okay. electric eel bring your ideas to life I feel like with your career uh, aspect 24 could be your lucky number again because I got twice what I'm seeing now you can see that this is 42 you have to reverse this that means no more sitting at home or doing the same old house chores or stuff like that doesn't make you happy and turning your life around to something that can create magic in your life. So bring your ideas to life. So it is time that whatever you're thinking on, your mind is on, go and work on it.
okay mirror see i told you guys are mirroring each other what you are doing is what this person is doing so if you're feeling something for this person they're probably feeling the same and what you're resisting is what they are resisting this is a codependent connection that you guys need to release after a proper discussion so that you can give it a proper closure and proper resolution so that you have a clear mind before moving forward star mother how can you mother yourself wow then we have double mission channeling and uplifting humanity i feel like you have that um, capability of uplifting people through your motivational words or your energy that is quite motivating i feel like you are born with that motivating energy you are also good in intuition very strong intuitive sense and you can feel people and help people likewise you are you are you you are like i heard shy but what i'm seeing over here you are concerned about other people emotions and that is required for uplifting you know a lot of things in in other people's life so you're making certain changes subconsciously in other people's life definitely all right so the star mother is about how you can find a way to nurture yourself okay and uh, take care of yourself as if you're your own baby okay and pamper yourself so that is also one message that i'm getting that uh, i'm also seeing a lot of self work if there's something that you're running away from try to figure out what is that that you're scared of that you're running away from and how you can fix that it is not difficult at all the simplest way to deal with anything and to work on anything is meditation and yes you have to put efforts with without efforts you can't get results pisces please all right so natural beauty and authenticity so here i'm sensing no makeup just raw look just being you that is a message for some of you um that feel like uh you need to be something else or you need to be someone else or i should fix my nose or i should do my chin or i should get some implants liposuction and stuff like that no your most attractive quality is your beauty is your natural beauty is your natural self your real self your raw self if you're you know if you're worried about something a part of your body that you feel is not good is not that attractive i feel that, that that's the most attractive part of your body okay the sun i'm sensing like there's a new beginning happening you feel more happier and successful in any of your endeavors you don't feel uh, lethargic or down and you'll be more you know work, you know working on your self and with all that excitement like there is no stopping or laziness from your end you're feeling successful and happy wherever you are I feel like there's definitely a new beginning in love. Now you choose whether you want to go with this one or you want to go with the new one. I'm sensing you'll be like surrounded with a lot of love, Pisces. A lot of love here and there. Everybody is giving you love. You choose who you want to choose. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. I'm also seeing the more love you're going to spread, it is going to spread like viral. Manifest. So I'm sensing that you're right now with the one one. something new is coming guys there's a new beginning happening where you will be manifesting a lot of new things and you're manifesting love like this is a clear message um that i'm getting for you pisces that you are manifesting love deep this is deep this deeper than you think your life is about to change i'm sensing that you're already changed person but there's much more growth in your life in your personal life i'm sensing it's all about love this reading is all about love some of you have love for teaching or your person is a teacher maybe that's an extra hint uh now i feel like the true love is coming your way guys all right you do something with teaching that helps a lot of people 
Now let's see what are the signs that you will be dealing with 23 to 31 of May. Let's see what are the messages. Libra, love is definitely coming. Sagittarius. Pisces, see I told you there's another Pisces that you're dealing with, okay? Capricorn or Aquarius. So these are the most probable signs that you will be dealing with. So get excited. So now I'm seeing the charms for you. That's it. This person could be wearing specs or you're the one that's a bookworm. Uh, children are, are a happy home for you. Okay, Pisces, because I start teaching as well. So you may be fond of children. Home is something that you really love, enjoy being. Obsession, something like you're obsessed. I feel like with the chop board also, I was feeling that you may be obsessed with the same old thing or the little things at home, feeling very grounded. There's someone that is obsessing over you and watching you with close, you know, with a uh, close distance. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, very emotional towards you. They want to sing a song for you. Maybe someone dedicated a song earlier. Uh, or you want to start, or you want to learn how to sing. I feel like you're going to be more focused at your goal. And some of you, you wear a uniform. You have a proper uniform. You're in military or your person is. So that's another message possible. I'm also seeing your heart is going to be blessed with love. And you, here you go. This is strongly, loudly screaming that you're going to be in love soon. Someone's name is R, A, it is you maybe. I'm also seeing aura, maybe um, something to do with your aura that attracts a lot of suitors towards you. I'm also seeing some of your phone of diamonds or this person is asking about that. Someone's name is Ira, okay. Starts from uh, Rao, okay, surname or Ria, could be Ria as well. Uh, it could be Ron, something like Ron, okay, Ronnie, like that. Someone's from Inu, Inu, something like that name. A. Okay, your person has E also in their name, or this is you. Again, another E. Again, then there is B. Mm. Someone's name is Bia or calls you B a lot. Someone's favorite band is ABBA. Okay. I'm also sensing rain. Someone is fond of rain, extremely fond of rain. Oh, you guys met this person uh, during the season and it still, it still reminds you green aventurine is your crystal i'm also sensing that this is talking about obsession obsession this person is obsessing over you someone's uh, surname is oba or something like that ob i'm also sensing you feeling like you're fat but you're not okay you're perfect Nia, someone's name could be that. Natasha. Rina. Robbie. I'm also seeing that this person has stolen your heart, guys. Or you've stolen their heart. Someone is naive here, like acting kiddish. I feel like this person said a clear no, or you said a clear no to them earlier, and they don't like it. Someone is also preparing for an exam. Uh, some of you may be fond of rap or does rap. Or this person does it. Someone's name is Noah. I feel like there's something to do with actual addiction, like drug addiction. Someone is in rehab. I feel like this person has been in rehab before. 
take care of that addiction thing. Now I'm going to see from Aries to Pisces, how does your person feel about you? Aries is like obsessing. I feel like this person's highly, highly attracted and wants to see a future with you. It's wants to have a potential start. Taurus wants to bring an offer of commitment towards you. Uh, the Gemini feels you're the best option out of all the other options. Cancer wants to keep their ego up, but they like you. Leo is fallen in love. I feel like they have a strong sense of emotion and feelings towards you. Virgo is um, feeling like a failure in this. Libra is super impressed by your personality and they talk a lot about you and your life. Scorpio wants a relationship. They want to give equally into this. Sagittarius wants to start off with a grand union, like with a deep bond. Okay, they want to take this towards something strong, friendship, to love. Then we have Capricorn is already thinking about proper marriage. Aquarius is manifesting you hard and you feel like you're the one that they want to be with. Aquarius, okay, then we have Pisces. Pisces wants to marry you and there's also see kids in future with you. They want to have it with you and you're the ultimate catch. That is it, Pisces. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell and comment down below. Let me know how this resonated. Till then, I will see you next time in more videos like this. Bye-bye.